I mean, we can't replace a guy like Dante, uh, but Coach Saban. I mean, Coach Saban's going to do I mean, what he does, and he's going to put the guy I mean, that best suits that position uh, on the field. Dante played multiple roles on the defense. Uh, he was a force in the middle, and when he went to the edge, he, he, was, he was pretty good there, too. And, I mean, I know Coach Saban. We really haven't talked about who's going to replace him at will, but I know Coach Saban due to he put the guy in, the, in, I mean, there that's best for that position. Is it, is it tough when you know, one of your mates goes down and that, in your mind you think, well, we got to move forward, we got to move fast, but at the same time you're also hurt for the guy? I mean, I mean, when he went down, it felt like a part of me was gone because um, he's, he's so much more than just my teammate. He's like a little brother to me. Um, we've been real close since he first got here, and I mean, it just felt like a part of me is not there. Um, right now, um, I mean it's tough, but at the same time I got to look at the big picture. I still have ten other guys on defense looking up to me, and I still have a, a lot of a lot of other teammates looking up to me. Being the leader of this team as well as this defense, I have to push on. Um, even though I am sad about it, uh, sorry that that it happened. It, it happened, and I have to. I had to learn from him, move on, and try to be a leader of this team, get ready for Kentucky. I mean, I don't like him personally. I mean, I'd rather a guy man up and block your head up. I mean, but it is legal. It's part of football. Uh, we practice on uh, taking on cut blocks. I mean, I hate the blocks, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a dirty play. I mean, can't say it was a dirty play, but I mean, just for a linebacker, we would rather a guy come up and try to stop you, but when you're big, big and fast as physical as Dante, I mean, they're going to try to do anything they can to stop you, so. I mean, I would like for the rule to be changed just because, I mean, I'm a physical guy. I wouldn't like for a guy to just, I mean, I think it's a little advantage to them that they can dive out for your legs and we get so many injuries from that just getting cut. I mean, like I said, the guy didn't do a dirty play. I mean, but in my mind, it is a dirty play. I mean, just go and block the guy head up. I mean, that's how I feel about the situation. But it happened. Um, we don't have any um, bad feelings toward the player. Uh, we're sorry that it happened. I mean, and we're just gonna try to move on. Get ready to play Kentucky. Oh, uh, I mean, they're a good offense. They're, they're well coached. They have a, a good running game. Uh, they're down here. They're very physical. They have a good old line. Um, the receivers are good, they run good routes. But, I mean, just like last game, it's really not what I mean, Kentucky does. It's about how we go out and play. Uh, I think, I know we'll, we will be ready. Uh, Coach Saban will do a great job getting us ready. I'll do my part with getting the rest of the team ready. And, I mean, I think we'll be ready to play Kentucky. I mean, we got, I mean, we have good day. I mean, Coach Saban, he's going to put the, the guy there to, that to replace Dante that's going to be able to, to succeed and with him being in the middle beside me it's not it won't be that hard for him I mean when Dante first came in and he was everywhere uh, he didn't really know what to do every play but I was beside him and I could tell him what to do um, so I mean I got confidence in his defense I know we'll do fine um, I know whoever steps in for Dante will do a great job